baptized in the plan of Sri Krishna Chandra. And then, in this age of Kali, he appears in the form of his, his own form, devotee or Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because the greatest devotee is Srimati Radhika, Radharani. So, assuming the mood and complexion of Srimati Radharani, Krishna appears as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, where he propagated Sankirtan Mahaprabhu. So, one who is engaged in Sankirtan movement, even though they are practicing Vaiti Sadhana Bhakti, if they are attached to Gauranga, if they are attached to the lotus feet of Gauranga, if they, if they follow Lord Gauranga, then they will attain Gauranga. And Gauranga is not different from Radha and Krishna. So in this way we can attain Gauranga. So, <coughs> now, Nam Sankrit, Mahaprabhu propagated Sankirtan movement. What is the way to please Mahaprabhu? And how we can attain that supreme abode, Golok Vrindavan? Devotees can see it ahead, coming from the Mataji's Kandam. That Sankirtan, one who is fully engaged in Sankirtan movement, then he can please Mahaprabhu and he can attain Mahaprabhu, which is not different from Golok now, often we understand that Mahaprabhu came to propagate Sankirtan movement, so we, we have to do Sankirtan. Now, Sankirtan means what? This we have to understand. One is called Sankhya Kirtan, another is called Samkirtan. So, Sankhya Kirtan means as you chant your rounds, prescribed number of rounds every day, whatever the prescribed numbers, minimum 16. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This is Sankirtan, this is Sankhya Kirtan. And when we all come together with all musical instruments and loudly glorify Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. That is Sankirtan. So both are very powerful, effective methods. Sankhya Kirtan and Sankirtan. Sankirtan is more effective. You just cannot uh, divert yourself. When you are engaged in Sankirtan, all the devotees coming together, congregationally they are chanting the holy name of Lord. Your mind just cannot go anywhere else. There is saying, someone said that in, the, in our practicing bhakti, there are two limbs of bhakti where your mind doesn't go anywhere else. They are just absorbed in that particular activity, that is called Sankirtan. Another is Mahaprasadhe Gopri. You just cannot divert yourself. Already I am hungry, don't chant it now. <laughs> so, you are engaged, fully focused. So, just wait till 9 o'clock. There is some time gap. So, these are the activities, but they are devotees. When you say that you, you are chanting Hare Krishna or in engaging in Sankirtan movement, that is only 50%. That is only 50%. That doesn't fulfill the mission and mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then what is the rest 50%? Can anyone say? That by doing that, you are actually pleasing, pleasing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and you are for the sole purpose for which Mahaprabhu has appeared to propagate Sankirtan, that becomes complete in itself. Preaching. Exactly. When you uh, do chanting Nam Sankirtan, uh, Sankhya Kirtan or Sankirtan, that's the 50%. The rest 50% when you give it to others and induce everyone to chant, to become devotee and to take shelter of Lord Gauranga. Lord. How Nityananda stands? In this way. So everyone come together, come and take shelter of Lotus Buddha Nitana Buddha. So that is the rest fifty percent. So we all have to in some way or other we have to uh, preach. That is the that then it becomes complete. So that is the speciality of uh, Sankirtan. 
If someone is engaged in this Sankirtan movement, even though he is following Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, he can please Lord Gauranga. At last he can attain Gauranga. And this is the hope, we can say. So, you know, in a, today we are talking, discussing a very special topic where there are varieties of devotees and uh, precisely you can see the level, level are various, varieties are level, there are different levels. But everyone is not in the same place or same level. Star. Someone is Anya Vilasita Sunyam Star, someone is 50 50 Star, someone is 60 40, someone is 70 30. So everyone is not in the same level practicing work. All of us are <coughs> practicing. Suppose in your family, one Prabhuji, one Mataji, and few children are there and some parents are there. So everyone is not in the same level of bhakti. The, there is difference. But if some in the family or in a group, anyone is practicing sincerely, trying to practice Anya Vyasita Sunyam standard of bhakti, that affects the other members. Listen carefully. So that affects other members because Lord pleads with that particular devotee and it affects others even though other members are not in that level, in that such high level, they also get to benefit. So in this way, there is one family whose father's name was Dhavanandra and he had five sons. Ramanandra, Gopinath Patnaik, Baninath Patnaik, Kalanidhi and Sudhanidhi. These are the five sons of Bhavanandra. Now what happened to this family? That's why the title is Mystical Mercy. You cannot understand how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy will fall to anyone. So once upon a time the story is like this, Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya Antelila, chapter 9. Ekadine loko asi prabhure nive dila, gopinathar bada jana change chadhaila. The devotees, you must have heard this pastime of many times, but when you read Chaitanya Chaitanya, if you read deeply with the commentaries, then you get some more insights to this. Therefore, you get some wonderful description. One day, people suddenly came to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and in third, Gopinath Patnai, the son of Bhavanandra, has been condemned to death by Badajana. Badajana is the eldest son of Pratapudra Maharaj. His name was Purushottam Jana. The eldest son of him has been raised on the Changa. Now, what is the Changa? Prabhupada writes, the Changa was a device for killing a condemned person. It, it consisted of raised platform on which the condemned was made to stand. Underneath the platform there was stationary upright source. The condemned man would be pushed down onto the source and in this way he would die, cutting into pieces. Like you grind dhaniya pata. Finish. So he said, heavy punishment. The Badajana has placed swords beneath the platform. They said that Gopinath will be thrown on this. Now, Bhavanandra and his entire family are your servants. So what's the reason for that? Reason? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm coming. That Mohan Mahaprabhu was there in, Gopi, uh, in Gambhira. That often time, many celestial person would come to meet him. Who, to whom no one would recognize. It is said in this chapter that many uh, persons from top planets and lower planets, they would come in the form of uh, human being, either Uriya, Bengali, Telugu, Tamil or any form of human being. They would come and uh, see uh, Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya in Gangra. They would come to see Lord Jagannath. You must be knowing some stories of Jagannath Puri that Bibhishan comes to Lord Jagannath Tetrasan in the form of uh, human being. No one recognizes. 
the same way, they would come there. And uh, people would not recognize them. So in this, uh, on one occasion, some group of devotees, they rushed to Gambhira and they reported to Mahaprabhu that this thing, this incident had happened. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired, inquired, why is the king chastising him? Thereupon, then they described the reason, incident. They said, Gopinath Patnaik is the brother of Ramanand Rai. And he, was, he has been a treasurer for the government of Pratavadra Maharaj. He served in a place known as Manajaka Dandapata. There is a place. Soliciting and collecting money there and depositing it in the government treasury. This was his service. Once when he deposited the collection, however, a balance of two lakh kahanas, kaudis, those days kaudis would be there. Kaudi, councils. Councils was due from him. When he could not repay two lakh kahanas, means kaudis, which was he was supposed to give a deposit in the treasury. So Gopinath Patnaik replied, I don't have money. There is no money. I can immediately give you the cash. Please give me some time. Gradually I shall purchase and sell my gross goods in this way to your treasury. He said in this way. Now the question comes, what happened? Why did he could not repay? What he did with that two lakh coins? Misuse. Misuse. Mis interpret, not misuse only, squandering. So, from this incident you can understand that Ramanand Rai was a pure devotee and Bhavanand Rai, my father, he is also a pure devotee. And all the members of the family, they are all devotees, but it, it, even though they are all devotees, there is a level, the various devotees have level, different levels are there. So, sometimes even a practicing devotee can be allured by some material desires with money, women, like that. So, in this way, he was, uh, uh, while practicing, sometimes we can be distracted. So, uh, he said, there are 10 12 good horses, take them immediately for a proper price. After saying this, he brought all the horses to the door, king, door of the king. One of the princes, that means the eldest son of Maharaj Pratapadra, knew how to estimate the price of horses very well. Thus the king sent him to come with his ministers. You go and take the, what is the actual price and evaluate it and take them, take them, uh, the, take the horses. Now the prince was bit out of the track. Everyone is not in the same way like Maharaj Pratapudra. Uh, so he was not in tune with this uh, son of uh, Bhant Bhavanand Raya, his name is Gopina. And if some, if such persons are in power, we all have to be extra careful to deal with them. If someone is in power, and his nature is different, his attitude is different and he is bit crooked, then we have to be careful by dealing with them. Don't do any shed side with them. The prince, however, purposely gave a reduced estimate, reduced estimate for the value of the horses. When Gopinath Patnaik heard this price, he was being angry. He was angry, he was upset. This is not the price, what you are saying. And that prince had a habit. People have some habits. You know what is called habit? There are habits that are good and bad. Many times. Some various varieties of habits. Like, <laughs> what are the habits can I say? One senior devotee, I will not mention the name. He, while giving class, after each every sentence he would do <coughs> <coughs> this is a habit actually it, 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 we 
asked many times, do you need some medicine? He talked, he, he takes so many medicines since days and months and years. But there is a habit. <coughs> do you understand? This is called habit. So this Badajana, this son of Maharaj Pratap Udra had a habit to always, whenever you would see or whenever you talk with anyone, he would say, he would look at the top. <laughs> he would not look at the person. I to eye contact. Uh, why should I? Like that. Huh? <laughs> Looking at the top and uh, nodding the head like this, like a horse. Like this. <laughs> Therefore, he said, Seiraja putre sohava griva firai, urdha mukhe bara bara uti uti chai. He, he had this habit that while talking you would uh, look at, uh, look at upward and uh, raise, uh, he would set his head, turning his neck, facing the sky, looking here and there again and again. So by seeing this, Gopinath Patnaik teased him. So teasing is very risky, dear devotee. That to, to such a person. Gopinath Patnaik criticized the prince. Why he dare to teach such a person? Very wonderful person. Because he had a very good intimate relationship with the Pratap Putra Maharaj. He thought, he thought that if I say something in joking way, anyway, Maharaj Pratap Putra, I am very close to him, he will not do it, he will not harm me. He will not do anything. So he was unafraid of the prince because the king was very kind toward him. Gopinath Patna said, Avar ghoda kripa na piraya urdhe na hi chaya Tate ghoda mulya khati karite na jujaya Gopinath Pratna said, my horses never turn their necks look upward like you do. My horses are very nice. Therefore, the price of them should be reduced. Should not be reduced. Should not be reduced, I am sorry. Should not be reduced. So, he actually in one sense joked and teased to uh, that prince. Oh my God, if some uncontrolled person whose senses are not controlled, if you teach him, he will become all the more well. Hearing this criticism, the prince became very angry. Going before the king, he made false allegations. Okay, to go I will see you. And he went to his father and he said, Allegation against Gopinath Patna. But he said, Kodi na hindi ve ei veda e chadma kori Agya deho jadi change chadana loi kodi Gopinath Patna is, uh, uh, this Pursatam jana, bada jana, he said to his father, Pratapudra Maharaj, This Gopinath is unwilling to pay money due. Instead he is squandering it under some pretext. This sentence was completely false. He didn't say that I will not give you. Do you understand the context? Mm. But if someone is uh, inimical to another person, he will tell the authority, thoda sa mis masala milake and he will make and he will report to the authority. You know that devotee? Don't ask what he did. He just said some rice and he made with dal and sabji, made it khichri and reported to the authority. Say so this way he did. So the king replied, you can adopt whatever means you think best. Any device by which you can somehow or other realize the money. You can collect. By somehow or other you can collect the money. I just need the money. Thus the prince went back. He, he didn't say to give uh, punishment. To punish him and to raise him in chaka. He didn't say. But he said, somehow or other he could collect the money. Thus the prince went back, raised Gopinath Patnaik onto the platform of Chango and spread swords below upon which to throw him. So now, dear devotees, this was the narration. The devotees or friends of Gopinath Patnaik were saying to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now, what is Mahaprabhu's reaction? Listen. After hearing this explanation, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied with affectionate anger, Pranaya Rosa. Sumi Prabhu Kahi Kisu Kari Pranaya Rosa Pranaya Rosa Affectionate anger He said Gopinath Patnaik does not want to pay the money that is due the king 
the Lord said, How then the king is in fault? King is right. He didn't pay the money. Then Mahaprabhu said, What he did then? What he did with that money? Raja Vila Sati Khaya Nahi Raja Khaya Dari Natu Are Diya Kore Nanabya. In those days, there was no cinema, no theater, no entertainment. What was the entertainment? Watching the dancing women. Some women would dance and this, they would watch this dance. So, Gopinath Patna is in charge of collecting money on behalf of the government, but he misappropriates it. Not clearing the king, he squanders it to see the dancing girls. Dear devotees, Gopinath Patna is a devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Eh? Just to see how, even in the life of devotees, sometimes ups and downs come, but how, but still, what is called mystical mercy? It will unfold. Mahaprabhu said, if one who is intelligent, let him perform service to the government. After paying the government, he can spend whatever money he lack. He can repay, uh, he can pay under whatever salary he gets or whatever money he gets, he can uh, use it. In this, at this time, another group of person, another group of devotees running and rushing to Mahaprabhu said, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, anarth ho gaya. What happened? Please come forward, Mahaprabhu. What happened? Then there in the great has beginning the news. Even the brother of Gopinath, whose name was Barnath, he was also arrested. Prabhu ka hai, Raja aapne seva, lekhar drabbe loye ho, aami virakta sanye hai si, tahi ki kari ho. Just see, here you just cannot understand the mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why, where, how he does. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, the king must personally realize the money that is due. Lekhar Dravya. Here Kabirath Goswami says, Lekhar Dravya means when you join a company to do a job, there is some agreement. Am I right? Yes. Bond sign. So that's called Lekhar Dravya. That Gopinath, when he joined the Pratavadra Mahaprabhu, the treasurer, there was some agreement. So Mahaprabhu is saying that he should fulfill that. And he said, Ami Pirakta Sanyasi, Tahai ki kori ho? I am a Sanyasi, renounced order, what can I do? When Mahaprabhu became so indifferent, therefore we require the association of devotees. The only savior in this whole creation, there is, someone said, that if you displease Lord Hari, even Lord Shiva can if, if you go to Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva can forgive you and he can give you. If you displease Lord Shiva, then you go to Lord Hari. There is a... Um, in Kannada, Mahabharata, it's written in this way. And then uh, you go to Lord Hari and ask forgiveness. I, somehow I operate Lord Shiva, then you forgive you. If you displace Hari and Hara, then what is the way? Only Guru and Vaishnava. Only Guru and Vaishnava can save us. Therefore, there is a song, a wonderful bhajan. Kiro pe pai va seva. How is that? Kiro pe pai va seva mui dura cha. Now what happened? Then all the devotees headed by Swarup Damodar Goswami, 
fell at the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and submitted the following plea. They requested. Ramananda Raya Kosti Sabha Tumar Das Tumar Uchit Nahe Aishana Udas All the members of Ramananda Raya's family are your eternal servants. Now in that family there is some danger, some calamity. Some devotee is in ICU. Someone is in very crisis. So, then what should be the duty of all other Vaishnavas, all other devotees? They are saying that it's not befitting for you to be indifferent to them by saying, I am a sannyasi, what can I do? I am a sannyasi, I am a Ramchari, what can I do? Let them suffer. I don't have any relation with them. It is the way to say, Sarudhamudra Bhushan is saying to Mahabharata. Suni Mahaprabhu kahe sakrodhova chane more agya deva sabhe jahu rajasthani. After hearing this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spoke in bit angry. That means you want me to go to the king and beg Dikshamagu Dohojar Kauri for this number one materialistic person. Should I go and beg? Those are Dola Kauri. So here it is mentioned that Sanyasi should never ask any material favor from this man. Or institute or temple or the service of Krishna devotee raise the fund. Even in our mission we have seen the way. His Holiness, any time you go to Radha Rasgari Mandir, you just cannot forget His Holiness Giriya Swami. How, in, in what difficulty he built that temple? He was the main person. So, he was Brahmachari, he was a Sanyas. Any time you go to Siddha Mayapur, how can you forget the Krishna Goswami? One of the main person to get their land. So they also raise the fund, but not for themselves. Anytime you go to Krishna Balaram Mandir, when you enter Krishna Balaram Mandir, just left side, you turn your head and you see in the top the name of the devotees of written in the Marvel, who are the, the that time, 1970s, 10,000 or 1 lakh rupees is a big amount. Guru 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 Krupa Swami, his name is written. He gave and go the devotee. So, for Lord's service, they do this in this way, but for not for himself. That too for such materialistic person. So, here devotees are pleading, praying to the Lord. Often times you hear that some Prabhuji, some Madhaji say, Prabhuji, you can you pray for him? Madhaji, you can you pray for him? So, what should we pray? That is mentioned here. It said that people ask the, to the devotees, Brahmacharis and Sanyasis, can you pray for me? Or you are a Sanyasi, you are a Brahmachari, travelling preacher, you are going many places, you are meeting with many places, can you see a suitable man for my boy? <laughs> for my girl? Is this the... <laughs> Desire to ask from a sannyasi? Is this the desire to ask from a preacher that you are going travelling anywhere? Uh, my, my son is preparing for gate. Can you pray to the Lord? Can you? He can enter into IIT. People ask that you, isn't it? You, you devotees must have faced that. For sincerely pity things, pray for this, pray for pray, pray for this, it becomes so common. For anything, for anything, just pray, pray for me. For what? Pro promotion. Huh? This is in Christianity, this is quite common. Ah, this, this kind of yeah, this kind of. For promotion, to get settled, or my court case to get solved. So these are all silly, pretty things. One should not approach a spiritual master or a Vaishnava for this, such things. Anyway, it's, a, it's an effect. 
At most we can pray for some devotees, recovery. Or someone is in very danger condition. And we can pray that, Oh Lord, please protect him or her and our dream. Pure devotional service and devotional spirit. So Mahaprabhu said, Your opinion is that I have to go to the king's place and spread my cloth to beg money from him? Of course, a sannyasi Mahaprabhu said, Pancha Gandhar Patra Haya Sannyasi Brahmana. Of course, a sannyasi or Brahmana may beg up to five Gandhas. Ganda means what? I don't know. But Kavira Dosa means Ganda. Only Pancha Ganda. Ganda means what? Four piece, one Ganda. अच्छा फोर पीस वन गन्ना फोर फोर पीस फोर पीस फोर पीस फिश फिश मछली मछली फोर फिश नॉट पीस नॉट पीस 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 इस तरह मतलब संज्ञा सी फोर व्हाट सॉरी पीस 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 ऑफ व्हाट पीस ऑफ व्हाट एनीथिंग एनीथिंग जब ने फोर पीस कमला Purpose Kamala, Purpose Aapel, it's one, one Gandhi. Any eatables, any Aapel. So he is saying that Sanyasi is limited to ask Pancha Gandhi. Now why is this only four piece or he is saying? Now you want me to go and collect and fundraise two lakh rupees or cow rupees? Then at this moment, then another person came with this news. Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu. What happened? <laughs> they are shouting. Gopinath had already been set up in Shanga and there he is about to throw, thrown upon the points of the swords. Suni Prabhu, Gana Prabhu, Kare Anunaya Prabhu, Kare Ami Bhikshuka, Ami Vaite Kishuna. Mahaprabhu saying, I am a beggar, I am a vikari. It is impossible for me to do anything about this. I am a beggar, I am a vikari, I am a vikshu sanyasi. I should not ask any favor from any king, any rich person. Tante raksya karite jati. Now, here is the turning point comes to this past time. Mahaprabhu is saying, ताते रक्षा करते जाते हैं यह सब बार मने सब मिली जाना जगन्नाथ है यह सौरोने बांग्ला बुस्ता भाई ओके आई ट्रांसलेट देवर इफ यू वांट टू सेव हिम यू शुड ऑल प्रे यू शुड ऑल गो टुगेदर एंड प्रे एट द लोटस पीट ऑफ जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ एंड हुई इज़ महाप्रभु Jai Gaur, Jai Krishna, Jai Jagannath. Why did he say that? Okay, I am blessed. You will be protected. Okay, I heard your prayer. You can go on. You will be protected. He didn't say like this. So, he said, Ishwara Jagannath Jara Hatha Sarva Hatha Sarva Artha Kartum Akartum Anyatha Karite Samartha Now, Jagannath is Supreme Personality of God. He possesses all potencies. Therefore, he is able to act freely. He can do and undo whatever he likes. So here the point, the principle is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching to the whole world how to surrender to Him, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Is that okay? He, capital He is teaching to the whole world how to surrender to Him, capital Him, in the form of Lord Jagannath. Only He can say is impossible to possible. The moment Mahaprabhu said this to the devotees, that to pray Lord Jagannath, at that moment, miracle happened. And this is the mystical mercy. What happened? Iha Jati Mahaprabhu Eteka Kohila हरि चंदन पात्र जाई राजा ही कोई। When सी चाइतने मापरु replied in this way, an officer named हरि चंदन पात्र who went to the king and spoke with him. Now why I am saying the turning point of the story is that who said to हरि चंदन पात्र to go to the king and say on behalf of गोपीनाथ पटनायक to say please answer. 
This is none other than Lord Gauranga, inspired by Sanat Pasha to go to the king and say, this is the mystical mercy. Then uh, he said, you went to the king. Gopinath Patna is your faithful servant. To condemn a servant to death is not good behavior. His only fault is that he owes some money to the government. If he is killed, how, what profit you will get? The government will be the loser. You will be killed. You will, you will not get the money back. It would be better to take the horses for a proper price, proper price and let him gradually repay the balance. Why are you killing him unnecessarily? Arisandar Patra, the secretary, a servant, uh, government servant, he said to the king, because he will be die and money will be not refunded. The king was surprised. Who said, I didn't say him to, <laughs> to be killed or to be murdered. The king replied that I didn't know about all this story. Why should his life be taken? I only want the money. Go there immediately and adjust everything. I want just payment. I don't want him to be killed. Pratavadur Maharaj said this. And the moment Gopinath Patnaik was thrown into the Changa, as you've seen in some movie or TV, Ruko! <laughs> Stop it! One is about to be hanged. And then immediately Harishandran Patra came with a, with a message or the certificate or letter from the central government. Tabe Harishandran Asi Janare Kahila, Change Haite Gopinath Asidra Namaila. Say, stop it! This is the order of King Padabhadra. He cannot be hanged, he cannot be killed. Then, then he was told the king demanded the money due him and asked what means he would adopt him. Can you take my horses and reply for a proper price? Gopinath was saved and brought to the king. And king said, Is it chair, bro? Please come. And Gopinath said, I, shall, I said you, na? I said you, gradually I will pay the balance without consideration. You are taking my life. You are not listening. Only. What should I do? What can I do? Then the government took all the horses for a proper price. A time was set for the payment of rest balance. Therefore, in Bengal it is said, Mudati Kari. Yatartha mulya kari tabe sabha ghoda laila Aar drapya muddati kari What is called muddati kari? Ghare pathaila Setting time, setting a time for payment The proper time was set to give the payment Now the question comes Another question Mahaprabhu asked to the devotee Mahaprabhu asked This is very interesting Question was Etha Prabhu Sehi Manushere Prasana Kaila Banina Thakhi Kare Jave Bandhiya Anila This time Mahaprabhu asked the question to the devotees. When the brother of Gobinath Patnai, Baninath was arrested, at that time what he was doing? And these devotees answered him. Sekahe Baninatha Nirvhai Laya Krishna Nam This Paya proves in Sri Chaitanya Charitamul that Mahaprabhu and all his associates they were chanting this mantra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Generally you don't find that why it is written that Mahaprabhu was chanting Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu in Chaitanya Charitamul it is not clearly mentioned as Prabhu said, Chaitanya Bhagavat, it is clearly mentioned. But here it is said, Seko he bani natha nirbhayalaya krishna na Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, kahe yogi shram. So incessantly, bani natha was chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. By hearing this, Mahamantra was pleased. They were saying, how you are chanting this? Sankhya lagi dui hate angulite lekha Sahasra de Purna Vaile, Aunge Kate Rekha. Dear devotees, for this you have to look at me, how you are chanting. Vadinath, when he was arrested, 
instead his hands were only free he didn't have bead bag he didn't have counting bag he didn't have mala because he was somehow arrested so it is said that how he was standing samkhya lagi right hand 10 time look at me this is 10 time the second initiative devotee they can easily know the way they chant gayatri 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is the way those days mahaprabhu and his associates would chant in the hand this is 10 time so right hand 10 time you would count one time in the left hand 100 holy name when uh, when you uh, chant 100 holy name he would draw one line in his hand somehow then 10 when he would chant thousand holy name you draw 10 line in this way you count his rounds and we are chanting 16 round multiplied by 10 how much it comes to 1728 1728 so we generally chant this much this many holy name so he was chanting in this way suni mahaprabhu bhaila parang anand ke bhut ke bujhi ve pare gore kripa chand bandha here it is used that paninath was chanting even in jail <laughs> even while he was arrested mahaprabhu was very pleased who can understand the mercy of lord upon his devotee this kripa chand bandha prabhu the devotee this bengali word has to be properly understood what is this krupa chanda band lord's mercy that's what that's what i gave the title na mystical mercy krupa chanda band means mercy upon his devotees it's not krupa is not openly seen it's in a very hidden way outwardly chaitanya mahaprabhu became indifferent to gopinath but in what he became overwhelmed by hearing the news the mighty what is in danger why what is the reason since he was the brother of ramanandra the brother of a pure devotee therefore i said in the beginning of you in the class that in the family there are varieties of devotees if one person becomes a very staunch devotee that affects others drags the mercy of sri chaitanya therefore he inspired mahaprabhu inspired harichandan to rescue gopinath by going to pradapur maharaj on the other side when chaitanya mahaprabhu heard the steadiness and sincerity of baninath the brother of gopinath even while he was arrested he was chanting hari krishna mahamantra he became very much pleased At that time, Kasi Mishra came to the residence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Lord talked to him with some hesitation. Gambira was given by Kasi Mishra to stay Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Mahaprabhu said, "I will not stay here. I can't stay here. I'll go to Alana. Any time if something happens, this is the only dialogue Mahaprabhu says. I'll go to Alana. Like some devotees, if something happens, I'll go to Vrindavan. I will not stay here." <laughs> <laughs> in the same way mahaprabhu had the only place i'll go to alana i will not stay here why the all the kasi mishra said that all the family members of bhavanand rai they are engaged in government service they spend in government's revenue in various way what is the fault of the part of the king mahaprabhu said he want the government's money how when they are punished for failing to pay the government due they come to me as a sanyasi and they say to release them is this my duty as a sanyasi when the king put gopinath patnaik on the changa this messengers came four times gangin ke bol raha hu char bar mere paas aaye 
and inform me about the incident. As a beggar, sannyasi, a mendicant, I wish to live alone in a solitary place. But these people come to tell me, giving some materialistic news and disturb me. Mahaprabhu said, Aji tahe jagarnatha korila rakshan, kali ke rakhi be, jadi nadi me raja dhan. Today, Jagannath has saved me. Patai Sabko Gaon Raksha Kiya. Today, Jagannath has saved me. Once from death today. But if tomorrow he again does the same, uh, who will protect him? So, in this regard, Srila Prabhupada gives, uh, warns us. He said that the Supreme Personality of Godhead certainly protects a devotee who does something. Please listen carefully. Accidentally. Some mistakes, some blunder, accidentally, unknowingly. Therefore, Krishna says, Api Chaitu Sudhura Charo, Jati Maha Pananyama, Shifram Bhavati Dharmatma, Sarsa Santini Mahasati. So, he said that, however, if a devotee, or so called devotee, purposefully commits sinful activities, continuously, in the hope that Krishna will protect him, Krishna will give him protection, Krishna will not give him protection. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Kali ke rakhi me jati nadi me rajdhan. Today I protected, today I uh, protected him. If, if he does the same mistake again, tomorrow who, who will protect him? Jagannath has saved Gopinath Pratnayak from, from being killed by the king today, but he commits the same offense. Who will protect him? Who will give him the protection? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, thus warns all such police devotees that Jagannath will not protect them if they continue to commit offense. Therefore, dear devotees, this is a warning for all of us. If sometimes the mistake happens, that's okay. But we should not commit the mistake again and again. As I say that, uh, His Grace Radha Shambhu says wonderfully, what I said in the class, first we have to realize, four are. First, you have, if, if the mistake is done, first R is realize. Accept that the mistake is done. Don't uh, uh, pretend yourself. Okay, I done the mistake. First R is realize. Realize the mistake. And second is repent. repent. Second R is repent. Uh, I should not do, I should not have done. And uh, repent is that something in mentally. And third R is regret. That regret means this in the same way, but it's a bit different. Is that at that time you take some uh, sankalpa course of action. I will not anyway. I will not do that kind of thing. And both are reinstate. Reinstate. You got it? Regret. So first realize. Yeah, repent, repent, regret, regret and say instead. At this stage, what a devotee becomes completely fixed up. And he takes some oath, commitment that I will not do the same mistake again. So here in this story, I will quickly go because time is very short. He said that for material prosperity, you are a renounced sannyasi. What connections do you have? One who worships you for some material purpose is blind to all knowledge. For material prosperity, the rescue of uh, some material things, one should not worship. If someone worships you, he is blind. Kasi Mishra started uh, consoling or uh, pacifying Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No, 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 please. Don't go. Don't leave this place. I'm going to Alarnath. It will not happen again. It is only for your sake. Just then, Kasi Mishra was pleading on behalf of Vaninath Patnai, Gopinath Patnai, all this family. Do you know Mahaprabhu? Ramanand Rai was governor, governor of Rajmundri. You know, there is a place. Prabhu is from there. Andhra Pradesh. Governor of that Rajmundri. And he left that for your sake. And he came at your service. Sanatana Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, they all left it in the book. And actually, Kasimishra said, Bhopinath Patnaik is a good gentleman. 
or even sometimes a devotee does some mistake. So, uh, you please don't be angry on him. Are you protected him? He says that, Sehi Suddha Bhakta Je Toma Bhaje Toma Lagi Apana Rasukha Dukha Haya Bhoga Bhoga Gopinath Patnayak is a pure devotee who worships you only for your satisfaction. He doesn't care about his personal happiness or distress. That means one who worships Lord for some material profit, for some material benefit, is not a Suddha Bhakta. Actually, devotee never does bhajan for uh, eradicating his own sukha and dukha. He only wants to please his Lord. And he, he is ready to face all varieties of sukha and dukha for that. Kaviraj Dosan quotes that famous verse, Tatte no kampa susami shamanam that you know, Brahma Stuti. So kind is taking care of Jagannath Puri. In this way, Kasi Mishra uh, said to uh, Mahaprabhu, and Mahaprabhu remained there. But at the same time, Kasimisra, Kasimisra is a person, Pratapudra Maharaj, uh, Guru Maharaj. So, Pratapudra Maharaj would stay in Katak. You know, Katak. So, from there, often time he would come to Puri to take Dasana of Lord Jagannath and to take Dasana of Vivan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One time, after this incident, when Pratavadu Maharaj had come to Puri, any time he would come to Puri, he would take the son of Lord Jagannath and go straight to Kasi Mishra. Because Kasi Mishra was his guru. And he would massage the feet of Kasi Mishra. At that time, taking this opportunity, Kasi Mishra said to Pratavadu Maharaj, the whole incident, and how Gopinath Patnaik was, uh, uh, and how Mahaprabhu saved him. And he said that Mahaprabhu wanted to leave Jagannathpuri. It became a thunder word for Pratavadra Maharaj. What? Mahaprabhu is leaving Puri? Because Pratavadra was a great devotee of Mahaprabhu. Then he said, no, no, no. Please, please tell him he should not leave Puri. Because dear devotees, any place, any house where there is not a devotee, devotee leaves that place with a heavy heart or devotee doesn't go to such place, then that, that, that is very inauspicious. So Pratapudra was a beloved devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He said, no, I do all the needful, but tell Mahaprabhu not to leave Puri. Then what he did, you know? Just by hearing this sentence that Mahaprabhu is leaving Puri, Pratapuru Maharaj said that, I will call Gopinath. First of all, first thing I do, I will not take any money from him. Hari Bol, all debts are clear. No need to give even horses. First thing, just see what is called mercy. When he was to be Killed, now what he is getting? Pratavadu Maharaj said, first thing is that I will clear him, uh, clear his all debts. And second, second uh, uh, point, second thing he said, Maharaj Pratavadu said that I will give him the post position again, where he was the treasurer, tax collector, I'm sorry. Tax collector. I will give him the place again. Third, I will give, I will increase his salary. <laughs> Seven pay commission. <laughs> Fourth thing, I will give him promotion. Fifth thing, I will give him the throughout the life I will pay him the salary with heavy pension. Everything, he said, and he said to Kasi Mishra, but please don't tell the Mahaprabhu that I have done this favor. How the devotees are so suitable. This, see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a practical God. Okay? 
not a theoretical goal. And his devotees are also practical. When Kasi Mishra went to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, Mahaprabhu, Maharaj had come to me. Like that he said. Oh, Pratabhudra Maharaj came to you? And he said that Pratabhudra Maharaj cleared all his debts and this and that and promotion and salary and this and that, everything he said. When Mahaprabhu heard this, he was, he was shocked that you made me in debt to the king. Because king will think that because of I, my favor is doing this so indirectly, you understand the point? Indirectly, you made me in debt to the king. I am a sannyasi. I should not be in debt to anyone. Why did you do like this? Again, Kasimisra, just thoda sa make up kar No, no. Pratavdra Maharaj is your great devotee. When he hears that any of, any of your devotees in danger, how can he remain silent? At this time, Bhavanand Rai, with all his five sons, they come to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All frustrated obeisances. Tandavat Pranam to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Surrender. And Mahaprabhu, Bhavanand Rai said, Mahaprabhu, you are the only savior of us. Mahaprabhu said, O oh, Bhavanand, you are Pandu. Who? You are Pandu. Your five sons are Pandavas. You are so dear to me. Actually, Ramananda Rai was combined incarnation of Arjuna, Visakha Sakhi, and Arjuna Sakha of Krishna. There is a Sakha, friend, friend of Krishna, was name is Arjuna. Pandav Arjuna and Sakha Arjuna and Visakha Combined incarnation is Sri Ramananda Rai. So Ramananda Rai, everyone, Mahaprabhu said, You all are so dear to me. And anyone who does some mistake, how can I uh, uh, give up them? And then uh, the more main culprit was Gopinath Patnai. He, he did Tandavat Pranam to Mahaprabhu. He said, Mahaprabhu, this is not the mercy. What you gave me, I know who, who why Pratapudra Maharaj gave me. This is not the mercy that you gave me the promotion, you gave me the salary increment, all the desire you gave me. Today, I declare, I give up my post. I give up my position. I will become a full-time devotee in your mission. I will join Hare Krishna. Hare my dear devotees, the story doesn't end here. Mahaprabhu is a practical lover. Mahaprabhu said, don't do this. <laughs> you have your wife and children. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I <I'll>, am. <laughs> <laughs> Mahaprabhu said, Chaitanya Ji, listen, how Mahaprabhu is so practical. He, he is not happy. Okay, very wonderful. What is the use of this? Come, join us. Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Jatriya Subhisham, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. He didn't say like this. Mahaprabhu is practical. No, Gopinath, you can't do like this. Your brothers have renounced everything, they are so surrendered to me, like Ramananda and others. And if you also give up the job, then how the family will be maintained? I want you to continue the job. What is it has to be? Because of you, the whole family is, is maintained. But don't do the same mistake what you did watching movie and TV and going to the nightclub. <laughs> don't do that. So now, henceforth, you become a sincere devotee and follow uh, what the process. So here, uh, uh, the story ends. Uh, Point here is that what is that mystical mercy? One time, once, uh, one side you see a devotee was hanged, he has to be murdered, is to, going to be killed. On the other side, Mahaprabhu is saying, I am indifferent, I am a sannyasi, I am a brahmachari. What can he do? If someone is uh, uh, done 
Where is the blood done? I didn't get reaction. What should I do? But the devotees are praying. No, Mahaprabhu, he can't be like this. He is your devotee. So he, he can't be so udasin. You can't be so different. So devotee prayed to the Lord. Oh my Lord, you are a supreme Lord. You can't be so different. He is also a devotee. He is also a devotee. He is also a devotee. He may be a semi-devotee, a demi-devotee or whatever devotee. <laughs> D and C, everyone is devotee. It takes time someone to become pure devotee. But you cannot be so uh, heartless. So at last Mahaprabhu gave him the benedict. He saved him. <coughs> Not just saved him, he repaid him. He got all the material possessions. Material possessions are not dangerous. The possessive nest was the possession that is the danger. Is it clear? That is the most, most important thing to be take, to take care of. You know? So he uh, gave him, at the same time instructed him that don't be attached and don't do the same mistake again. And he didn't uh, uh, allow him to become a full-time monk. <laughs> he has his family, he has his... Uh, uh, many times you read in Chaitanya Chaitanya, Maha, 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 Mahaprabhu said to Sivanam Sen, this devotee, so and so, I don't know his name, forget his name, he is not able to keep his account, you become his accountant. He is so, what is the name of Vasudeva, Vasudeva something, that he is not able to keep his account. He is so much engrossed in chanting that he doesn't know keep his account. So he said to Sivanam Sen, you track his account. And, uh, uh, help him. So he is very practical. He is not saying everyone to join full time. <laughs> Who you, wherever you are, in whichever position, ashram, Varan ashram, stay there and practice Krishna consciousness. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki, Jai. mystical mercy Mahaprabhu ki, Srila Prabhupada ki, Jai Gaur Pramana. So now the, there is the time for your most waiting moment that is Mahaprasad Guru. Oh, so now you have a second.